we are starting to see a shift away from base chain being the trendy chain for new coin launches and back to Solana. Says, you know, the arc went like this. Ethereum, that was the chain for years and years to launch a new coin. And then Solana suddenly became the trendy chain around last November when Miro launched on Solana and quickly went into the 100 millions market cap. Then Solana became oversaturated with weaker coin launches. So people moved over to base chain about a month and a half ago when Brett skyrocketed to the 100 millions of dollars on base chain. Then base chain that became slightly oversaturated so now people are moving back to Solana. It's evidenced by that. This video is going to be about a coin named Pingu on Solana, low market cap coin. But let me just show you how yesterday's video, the coin from that, has been doing. It's Book of Meow. Here's their price chart. When I covered it yesterday, not even 24 hours ago, it was at a 10 million market cap. Yes, 10 million market cap right here. Today, a day later, 56 million market cap. So this coin, Book of Meow on Solana, has done a five and a half so Solana has become trendy and hot again. Now back to today's project, Pingu. So it's not pronounced Pinju, it's pronounced Pingu. It's a promotional project. They are on Solana. Since they're on Solana, that means 0% buy tax, 0% sell tax. They are a penguin based meme coin. More on that in a second. First, let's check out the price chart. So currently 160K market cap. So it's a low market cap project. So it's a little bit higher risk in that regard, but it's, in that regard, it's also a much higher reward because the potential for X is definitely there. I think that this project personally can go into the one millions and it's actually not even as risky as other projects that are at this market cap level because they're not brand new they were not launched yesterday they've actually been around for three months now since late january if you look at the price chart we have a bunch of pumps we have a bunch of natural pullbacks but this project has never faded away they have stuck at it and then it looks like about once a month they have another pump right here and that's what happened this past week as a bunch of new developments kicked in a new marketing campaign kicked in we'll go over all that in a second Holders, 583, that's pretty good. That's more holders than I would expect for this market cap. So you definitely have some loyal long-term holders, it appears. Now, I also I always like to look at the volume to just make sure for a low market cap coin like this, you can trade, slip in a $1,000 or more trade and not be wrecked by slippage. And it's pretty good. So 20K, 24-hour volume. Then I go through the order book here, make sure there are some decent sized trades. So we have a $940 trade, was slipped in easily, didn't affect price too much. Here we have a $1,300 trade, was slipped in easily, didn't affect price too much. So slip does not appear to be a problem. Just enter a trade around $1,000. If you're going to enter a larger position, enter at $1,000 at a time. Check out the website, pingu.vip. So as mentioned, it's a penguin-based meme coin. What is pingu? Pingu is the coldest meme coin on Solana. This bird is not flightless. Join our colony as we waddle our way to the top of the crypto world, blending the warmth of community with the chill of cutting-edge technology. Ready to slide into the future with us? Here's your chance. I like the writing. Good branding here. They use a lot of penguin terminology, like waddle our way to the top, slide into our future. The penguins are always sliding on ice. They also use chill, warmth. Penguins live in very cold climates. And if you look at the Twitter page right here, they are located in Antarctica. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Now, how to buy the coins. So they're on Solana. Most people have probably bought Solana by now. But if you haven't, here's how you do it. So this is for people who don't own any Solana and are starting from scratch. It's still pretty easy. Only a couple steps. So first, you want to download a Solana compatible wallet like Phantom and Soulflare. They are the two best. Then you want to send some USDT into that new Phantom or Soulflare wallet. Then from here, it's a two-step process. First, you need to bridge some coins over to the Solana networks. So I use Orbiter.Finance. So here you're saying you would you want to bridge your USDT, for example, from Ethereum network that you just sent your Phantom Wallet. Then you're going to bridge it to, you'd click USDT there, and then you'd click Solana here, and then bam, you have Tether on Solana sitting in your Phantom Wallet. Then you need to actually buy the token with that new USDT, which is on the Solana network. So you can click on buy right here, click buy it, brings up Radium. This coin is not on any big centralized exchanges yet, just Radium. So you would click USDT. First, you connect your wallet. Then here you click USDT. And here is the contract address. It popped up automatically since I went through the homepage. You can also copy it from Dex Tools, click swap, and then bam, you have the coin in your wallet. More about the project tokenomics. So 420 trillion, 69 million total supply. It's the meme coin style right there. Uh, there was no pre-sale whatsoever. The tokenomics, pretty simple. 90% goes to the fair launch, 10% the Saga airdrop. Roadmap, phase one and two, that's already been completed. That's just kicking off, doing the fair launch, getting some price floor. Building the community phase three and four, that's what they're kind of kicking off right now with this marketing campaign. It'll be centered around 
adoption, growth, and continuous evolution that takes community feedback into account. Now let's check out the Pingu Twitter page because as we know with meme coins, the how strong their Twitter game is, is the difference between a successful project and not a successful project. So the first thing I noticed, the mutual friends, they have uh, some pretty big influencers following them, some friends of mine, these guys here. So Rodney, you know, that guy's 65,000 followers. He put up this tweet about them yesterday. Something big is coming for Pingu, small market cap banger, ready to blow April 5th. Jake is following them as well. He hasn't tweeted about them yet, but just this guy, he only follows 700 people and he's 250,000 followers. So just the fact he's following them, that bodes well. Is mighty do a video or tweet about them soon? I don't know, but I like what I'm seeing here. And then Crypto Zeus, he follows them. He's another big YouTuber, 75,000 followers. He hasn't done a video on them yet, but me and him tend to cover a lot of the same projects. So I wouldn't be surprised. I'd bank on him dropping a video on them in the next day or two. We shall see. Now let's look at the quality of the meme. So I like to just look at how often is the project a meme. So the, here's a meme four hours ago, five hours ago, 18 hours ago, 19 hours ago, 23 hours ago, 23. So that's what I like to see. A lot of new projects, they start out with that momentum, five to six tweets, five to six memes a day, but then they can't keep it up. This project's been around for three months. They're still going strong with five to six unique memes a day. That's what I like to see. Now let's look at the quality of the memes. How is a graphic designer? Would the real OG penguin on Solana please stand up? This is a red reference to Peng, another Penguin coin on Solana. But Pengu just dresses with style. How could you buy Peng when you can buy a coin looking like this? I'd go with Pengu. What else do we have here? Here's Pengu celebrating the all-time highs yesterday, drinking with a lady, cheers and some wine, green candles. What else do we have here? Pengu doing his morning routine, unfazed by the market red. That was two days ago. He's drinking coffee, watching some TV. Just a normal day in the office for him. Here's Pingo cooking up some of his friends. He's cooking up Pepe. He's cooking up Andy. He's cooking up Myro. He's cooking up, it looks like Big Red on Avalanche. And that's it for Pingo, guys. So always do your own due diligence. It goes well beyond the contents of this video. And also always diversify. Never put more than 10% of your portfolio in any one project. This is one I'm really excited about. I think it, it, it's a great combination of the potential for X's there because it's at that sweet low market cap. But they've stood the test of time. They're here for the long run. They're not going anywhere. So it's a much lower risk and higher reward project than is typical for a newer project at this market cap level. Drop a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Hit the like, subscribe button already. Be back later in the new video. Bankrupt signing out. Catch you later.